It's called Second Glance, a catchy name for a store that sells second-hand clothes. But when you glance through the clothes, it doesn't take long to figure out these are not your basic Goodwill donations. There's a $2,500 mink coat going for $500. A $700 wedding dress selling for $200. Comes complete with an ostrich feathered hat. There's a $200 sequence top you can pick up for $75. And a $225 designer dress going for $59. Which designer? Lily Rubin. As the owner puts it, This is a, a shop where ladies uh, can bring the designer clothes in, sell them, go back and buy another designer dress. And they do. Ladies clean out their closets, sell Lulu's dresses they bought but never wore, the tag still dangling from them. Then Lou gets 60% of the cut, the customer gets 40. Today, Helen brought in a sweatshirt she's trying to sell. I brought you a shirt. This is darling. Helen's a regular who's made hundreds of dollars selling Lou her used designer clothes. What else can you do with clothes that are hanging in your closet and taking up space? This way, you can take the money and spend it somewhere else. Lou got the idea for the shop when she saw it being done in other cities. She gave up her $40,000 a year job as a decorator to take the plunge. Now she's got a whole cast of characters. Women who sell Lou so many clothes, they get a monthly check. Eleanor averages about $50 a month. In fact, that $2,500 mink selling for $500 was Eleanor's. It sold. What would possess a woman to sell her mink? Well, I didn't wear it but two times after it was given to me, and I just, I didn't have any use for it, you know. Here at Second Glance, there are some clothes they do not accept. They do not take clothes over two years old. They do not accept clothes out of season, and they do not take polyester double knits. Do the women worry that the original owner might recognize her old dress on them? At second glance, where they can get a $250 wool suit for $55, they don't give it a second thought. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Michelle Meredith, News 10 Nightcast.